I literally had so much faith in this tube. <laughs> No adult is fitting into that. <gasps> what? BLT, are you oh. Now let's say you go there, say what's your price. Uh-huh. Just to back it up, you can hold my eyes. Uh, uh. Now let's say you go there, say what's your price. What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time joining us, welcome 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 to it i really do hope that you stay you subscribe and you become a part of the cx family <laughs> as i'm sure you guys can tell by the title of today's video today we are going to be doing a plt try on haul i was so excited to do this haul guys i've been meaning to buy um from plt the last time i bought from plt i think it was in 2019 and my experience was a little bit way way it was a little bit wayward but i see so many people buying from them that i was just like you know what let me try them out one more time okay now as per usual we're going to be doing a try on i will also give you guys all the information about how i shopped um from plt's website how long everything took to come customs and 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 i'm giving you all the tea because honey uh, <sighs> anyways guys if you guys are excited for this video please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up right now don't forget to comment as you guys are watching the video let me know what you guys think and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay let us get straight into the video okay guys so the first part of this video is where i'm going to be giving you guys all the information about how to shop customs shipping and 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 if you don't want to watch this part and you're only here for the try on please do check the chapters down below or check the chapters on the little bottom bar of this video do not fix your fingers to drag me about talking too much because people want information and i'm gonna give it to them okay so please do skip ahead if you don't want to watch this but if you do get ready get prepared because we're on okay guys so let us get straight into me actually placing my order what i did was that i downloaded the plt app and that's where i went ahead and i shopped all the items that i wanted put them all into my bag and then i finally checked out now my order was the total of the order was 129 pounds i got a discount of 15 pounds 75 the shipping was seven pounds 99 so basically eight pounds and then everything in total came to 121 pounds 24 pence i think that's what it is <laughs> so that was my order total in rands that's about 2444 rands today so i went ahead and i placed my order on the 13th of july 2021 and i will put on the screen when i actually received my order i don't feel like i waited super long considering that the international shipping company that they use is royal mail which is the um, mailing system that they use in the uk the same way we use the south african post office they use royal mail which tends to mean that it takes a little bit longer to get here because it's coming through like our actual post office services not like a dhl or a fedex so actually considering all of that and like customs clearance and everything i feel like it actually didn't take that long um but i will obviously leave the exact timeline on the screen so that nobody okay in total i got eight items for that price that was around two i feel like when i first checked it out it was like 2.3 but child so when it came through our post office i got a notification i think on my checking um list it said something like um delivery attempt they attempted delivery but they didn't get to do the delivery i don't know child but i just ended up going one day to my local post office to check if it was there i get there and they tell me they tell me they tell me that the custom suite is going to be a nice juicy full rounded whole 1500 south african rand now mind you my order as i've already mentioned was only 2400 today um so me paying 1.5 was kind of freaking shocking I, I couldn't believe it i could not believe my ears my eyes but because i needed to do this haul i had to pick up the clothes i had to and also i had such high hopes in the clothes i was thinking you know to be honest there was nothing in me that was feeling like 1.5 was worth it i'm not gonna lie to you i really could have in another in another circumstance i probably would have left it there because it's, it's no need to pay 1.5 for only eight items of clothing and mind you it's not like serious items i'm not buying like shoes 
you know 15 jackets whatever so that amount was very shocking to me so in total we can say we're going to use the actual total amount that it gave today so that's 2444 plus 1,500. So in total, I paid close to 4,000 Rand for this order and I only bought eight items. I only bought eight items. And you guys will kind of see that, um, maybe? But besides for that, in terms of sizing, I found things were not all true to size. I will tell you guys and show you guys the sizes as we go through the whole haul so you guys will be able to see as well. But yeah, not everything was consistent, which was really annoying as a buyer who's just spent 4K on these clothes. But let me not say too much else. I think let's get straight into it. If you guys have any more questions regarding to the shipping, the customs, how to shop the clothing, please let me know down below. But other than that, I think, I think it's time for us to get into this try on haul. So guys, the first item of this haul is labeled the chocolate soft touch cowl neck bodysuit. Now this is a brown bodysuit as you guys can see. It sort of has a slinky material, which is great. Um, and I'm wearing it right now, so I can't show you guys like hold it up or anything like that. But here is me wearing it. I really, really like this bodysuit, guys. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love a good bodysuit, okay? I am trying to wean myself off buying like 500,000 of them, but I really do like this one. The material is very nice, flattering. Um, there is a lot of stretch in the clothing, so that also really helps, specifically this top. If I'm rating this item out of 10, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. I feel like it's really nice, but it's also a basic, so it didn't really need you to give much. You just gave what you were supposed to give. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next, we have a pair of jeans. I've been meaning to try a pretty little thing. Jeans, I've heard such good things about them, so I was really excited to try them. And I was pleasantly surprised. The jeans are called the Light Wash Split Hem Jeans. This is how they look. I really, really love these jeans. They cute and very stylish. I do have a similar pair of jeans to these jeans. However, the ones that I have actually have slits um, or like rips down the jean leg, which is cute, but like sometimes you don't need to be doing all of that. So I was really excited and happy to get this jean. And they actually fit me exactly how I expected them to fit me. I did decide to go one size up. So I normally am a size UK 10. So I decided to get uh, a UK 12. So that's why you do see it's a little bit baggy, but um, it's nothing that a little alteration can't fix. And also I was like, I want them to be a bit bigger so that I can alter them because what am I gonna do with my size? Um, it's not gonna give the look that I need it to get, okay? So really, really happy with these jeans. The material is, I would say, normal jean materials not it's, it's maybe like one level thinner than normal jeans but i also didn't feel like it was anything that i didn't like it didn't feel cheap so yeah, out of 10 i'm gonna give these jeans um an 8 out of 10 i really really like these jeans they fit exactly how i thought they were gonna fit to be honest considering i was getting a size that was one size bigger than my actual size so i'm really happy with these jeans and would really recommend that you guys get them if y'all want them okay <laughs> then the next two items that i got were a set but they are sold separately a lot of the sets on plt are sold separately so that's something to keep in mind okay so this set is a tracksuit it is a brown tracksuit because as i told y'all brown was giving brown was giving so we're gonna start with the top it's called the chocolate brown extreme oversized pocket front zip through hoodie Wow, that was quite a mouthful. Um, it is basically just oversized, an oversized hoodie, jacket, top, whatever. And it's brown and it comes with a matching pan. So we'll start with the top because the top for me, the quality, specifically with the zipper, um, you guys are seeing me in it here. The quality with the zipper, I felt like I needed to like, it wasn't like zipping up and down properly. I don't know if I'm explaining that properly, but the quality wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. I really was not a huge fan of that. So yeah. And then the pants are called the Chocolate Brown Pocket Thigh Casual Joggers. These fit me quite well. I was quite happy with them. I really don't have many complaints about these pants, I will say. They came exactly how I thought they were gonna come and they are quite comfortable, very fleecy material on the inside. So it does actually keep you warm. The same thing with the hoodie. So it actually is warm. I just didn't quite like the quality of the hoodie in that sense because like the zipper it wasn't working i literally had to fight to open that zipper okay which is kind of annoying i feel the, i still don't feel like it's loose enough and i've done it a couple times so i don't like that so 
I'll actually rate them separately. We'll start with the um, hoodie. I will say that I'm gonna give the hoodie out of 10. It's getting a 5.5. It's cute, boy. And then in terms of the bottoms, I'll give the bottoms a seven out of 10. They're not anything to write home about, but they're cute. And I like the fact that they are a little bit different because they have the pockets in the front. So it's not like something I actually have. Next up, we have the pink abstract print slinky asymmetric strap detail bodycon dress now this was the one that i was honestly most excited for because i've seen so many of my uk faves wearing this um i want to say this print because i feel like the print is what's popular and i feel like it was made popular by plt correct me if i'm wrong it's probably actually um something they copied from somewhere else because i mean fast fashion brands they really be doing it but guys this was kind of disappointing to me you guys are seeing me in a tear but like i was kind of like underwhelmed specifically because i felt like the dress was a little bit see-through which i was like where am i really going to be able to wear this i thought maybe it's something i could wear to the club or like a girl's day something but now i'm like can i really wear this in front of bangwa bandu because everybody gonna be seeing my everything and i don't like that i really don't like that i thought this would be like my summer go to pretty dress and like it's not giving that i could probably wear it to the club where you know we're under dark lights and no one can see or i'm gonna have to wear it like if we're by the beach or like somewhere by the pool something like that i don't know if i'm gonna be able to wear it just casually willy-nilly during the day which is kind of a bit sad for me this one was a little bit underwhelming i must say out of 10 i'm gonna have to give it i'm gonna have to give it a is six out of ten i feel like mm, she wasn't quite giving but then she wasn't doing too little but she wasn't doing enough so she's a six 5.5 really but let's just say six <laughs> all right guys so next we actually have another two-piece guys i literally had so much faith in this two-piece <sighs> i'm so mad i'm so mad not glad very sad this out of the top it's called the shape stone textured rib high neck crop top and then the bottoms are the shape stone textured rib high waist leggings now i hadn't actually ever bought from the shape range on plt on plt they do have these different ranges where it'll be like they'll have an outfit and it'll be labeled shape or if you're tall if you're petite which i also find is really dope so i get the shape thing i get it this fit looks insane i won't even lie to you like it looks hot okay i was the most excited for it in this haul hey 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 when i get it guys i try the pants on because whenever actually i get any stuff from a haul i always try the pants on because i feel like that's the most that's where i'm most likely to find a problem i tried the pants on they stopped to me in the middle i didn't even stand a chance guys i did not even stand a crumb of a chance i don't even think it has it does have a zip in the back but even with that zip child it it did absolutely nothing it, then came the top and you know i didn't try the top on for the longest time so i was thinking no man the top is gonna fit like whether the pants fit or not the top is my size my size eight it's easy baby let's do problem number one because the top didn't even fit over my head okay and i thought okay maybe i'm the problem maybe i just have a really huge head no because when i had my girls over this past weekend they tried it on as well and it fit nobody's head my darling nobody's head was fitting into that so i wanted to know whose head is fitting in there it's obviously for an infant it's obviously for a child because no adult is fitting into that what? plt are you are you crazy what, what is this honey what is this so that one was so disappointing i will rate them both together and i will rate them both a four out of ten you know i'm rating it a four because it is a beautiful set but on who who's having that conversation the top i'm gonna try and get it altered and try my best to maybe put a zip in the back so i can actually put my head in it but the pants i mean that one is a sunken cost and then finally guys i got this jacket from plt it's called the black pu uh biker jacket with zips and honestly uh it's cute it's cute but mm, arr, arr, it's not quite giving me what it was supposed to give it's a cute jacket or whatever but honestly y'all see me in it y'all see me in it um no uh no i 
feel like the way that the arms fit, it just doesn't, it's not giving. And 10 again is one size up from my size. When I buy jackets, I normally buy an eight. So a 10 is literally supposed to be fitting me beautifully. And it just isn't giving what it was supposed to give. Out of 10, I think it deserves a... A 6 out of 10. Okay, we'll give it a 6 out of 10. Because it's not like awful but i just think like it's just it's not up to par but also it is the only reason why i don't want to give the excuse of it being fast fashion is because she didn't gave us something the last time she gave us a jacket baby she said jacket on the kids so i t it's hard for me to make excuses for them when she didn't give us a jacket okay all right guys so after seeing everything trying everything on my personal final verdict on plt Am I gonna buy from there again in the near future? I don't wanna lie and say yes, cause the answer's gonna be no. Only because, um, first things first, my biggest actual problem is the fact that I had to pay 1.5 in customs for a 2,300 rand order. It just, it's not sitting right with my soul. It is not well with my soul. It was a lot of money that I spent. So in 4K, and let's think about it guys, there's a whole outfit in there that I cannot wear, okay? There's another one where it's see-through. I didn't expect it to look like that. There's another one, again, a jacket that didn't quite meet my st So a lot of the stuff I'm going to sell. So personally for me, when I think about that, and it's eight items for 4,000 Rand, the mass is a mathing for my personal consumption. Are they awful clothes? No, it is fast fashion, but I will say that I've had fast fashion experiences. For example, your Shein's, your wholesale savings, whatever, where I felt like the clothes were better and I probably paid the same amount or less than I had paid at PLT. And that's also considering the shipping. And that's just me being brutally honest. Don't at me, okay? Fight with your kneecaps for my sake. So out of 10, I'm gonna give the whole shopping experience a six out of 10. If that's me being as generous as I can be. Um, to be fair, it did come in a timely manner and everything there was like, it wasn't a hard process. The hardest part of it, honestly, was all the money I had to pay. So I'm going to say, yeah, it's a six out of 10 for me. And I don't want to not tell you. I don't want to make it seem like it's more when it's less, you know, sorry, it'd be like that. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what you guys thought about every single item. Do you guys feel like I was being fair? I feel like I was, but y'all will let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about my ratings as well. And what you guys thought about PLT just generally and again do not forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye